we do want to check in with Lisa Gonzalez, who has been working so hard. Yeah. Yeah. Early mornings, <laughs> late nights. Let's say thank you for all you do. What is the latest thank on Tropical you. Storm Elsa? Well, that's my job. And, you know, I, I have to say yesterday, I felt for Ted Scouten because he had to be dealing with the wrath of Elsa. And there was a time there where the winds were gusting 60 to 70 miles an hour. So he was out in the elements when the worst of the weather was rolling through the lower and middle keys yesterday morning and especially even through the middle of the day. And then the rest of South Florida had to deal with all those gusty squalls and there was even a tornado watch due to Elsa, which had, by the way, strengthened to a hurricane last night, and now it weakened overnight to a tropical storm. So as we take a look at the latest advisory, Elsa is moving to the north at 14 miles an hour. It is paralleling the west coast and expected to make landfall somewhere here along the Florida North Gulf Coast later today or in the afternoon. A storm surge warning continues. There's a potential for storm surge still, and also a hurricane warning remains in effect. Elsa has a a brief opportunity to re-intensify into a hurricane before it makes landfall. Hopefully it won't, but the warning is there just in case and tropical storm warnings extending along the west coast of much of central North Florida and even through the southeast because Elsa is headed there once it moves across the Big Bend and the Panhandle throughout the day today. But the tropical storm conditions extend well out and away from where that center is forecast to move to the northeast here along Georgia, the Carolinas as we head in through Thursday. By Friday morning could be impacting portions of the mid Atlantic. Even the Northeast New England areas can't let their guard down because it looks like tropical storm Elsa will be passing very closely or just riding up the Atlantic coast here and then finally moving away from the US as we head into the weekend into the Canadian Maritimes. Here's the latest satellite image and it really gives you a clear picture of how lopsided the system is and has been. And that's the reason why the dirty side, the east side has been bringing all the stormy weather to us. And and on the west side, we've had the dry air, so it hasn't been as active. But wow, look at all this lightning still for our friends here in the southwest coast in Fort Myers, where some severe flooding is taking place. Flood warning is in place until 8 p.m. You know, Tampa Bay also dealing with some gusty squalls, but at least a little bit of a break here for places like Sarasota and areas southward there. And then look at how this rain band stretches all the way up across central Florida and Orlando.